guys, this is Laura Samuels. I am an ambassador and ally to Buddha Bullying. This organization means so much to me because it's very personal. I was a sophomore in high school and I come from a really, 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 really small town. I'm talking like 1,500 people there when I moved there. Um, I was in uh, school and I just kind of naturally dropped a bunch of weight my sophomore year and I thought I looked good. People told me I looked good so I thought everyone was on the same page, you know, yay for me. And then I get on the internet one day and all the girls that were I considered my best friends had created a, a Facebook page that said, Laura is anorexic, please pray for her and photoshopped a photo of me with a hamburger with a giant X over the hamburger as like the profile picture. After they invited my pastor, my parents, my sister, anybody that was close to me in my town to join the group and leave comments on the page, then they asked me to join it so that I could see what everybody was saying about me behind my back in, in my town. And it was really hurtful because I wasn't an anorexic and you know, there are actual people out there who struggle with that and I'm not one of them, so it was very, it was very hard for me to see that and also to, like to read the comments what everybody was saying like just even 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 the the local subway workers were asked to be a part of this group and it was just it was just embarrassing it was hurtful and it was also a really weak attack i felt like because it was over the internet and um i couldn't defend myself so that's just one of many stories <laughs> so you talked a lot about this story and how it was a weak attack so what would you tell kids that are being attacked over the internet how, how can they handle it? How can they overcome it? And you know, how did you overcome it? The way that I overcame it is I just ignored it. I pretended like it didn't bother me. I commented ha 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 on the Facebook page because at the end of the day, if you allow them to get to you and you allow those hurtful words to bring you down, then you're only letting them succeed. And I mean, it wasn't true. So I, I knew that about myself, my family knew that about myself, so it was, just, it was just kind of one of those things that I had to just get past. I think about it a lot, and I, you know, I can sit, sit there and, and go over and over and over all these things that have happened to me in my life, but at the end of the day, the only thing that I can say about all of it is that I am grateful that it happened because today, I am so strong, I don't let people talk to me like that, and if people talk about me behind my back, then it's just kind of like, eh, I'm used to it. This isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's really made me who I am. And now I have a platform to help other kids, help, to help them be as strong as I am about it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm really happy that it happened, actually. And I never thought I would say that, but I am. Boo to bullying!